Hello everybody and hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. I changed my regular microphone to my uh with my computer microphone up to my personal microphone that I bought, my Yeti. So hopefully you guys can definitely hear me as we talk through another video. This video is going to be done on Mr. Kanye West. He got the attention of the New York Post about setting himself on fire y'all yes kanye is in concert or he did a little concert where it was a tribute to uh his latest project he was working on his mother uh donda's listening party and he was out there recreating his uh marriage to uh kim kardashian and that's his mom and uh you know just is what it is his mom died of some uh, surgery she was trying to help better herself physically and she kind of did too much and of course you know that's Kim's mom um uh, shoot her, I can't even think of her name right now Chris Chris Kardashian and that is Marilyn Manson and you got the baby uh also coming in trying to pay tribute to uh Kanye West's video or stage performance he was trying to do and he had them guests start it's supposed to have been like a, a reenaction of his childhood home and i guess he had them doing their little spits or scenes on it and like i said he was in a little concert type thing and that's his old childhood home i guess he's paying homage to it i, I have no idea but um it was just quite interesting and i was like what in the world is going on with this crazy kanye west okay this is his latest statement to the public and what he's trying to do his artistic type uh presentation he's trying to give us i haven't read the article i was gonna wait and do it with you all but i wanted to make sure y'all understood the clips now of course we all think kanye need to sit down somewhere and go get some psychological help and do what he needs to do to uh, be a better person be a better man uh be a better father to his children or dad to his children however y'all see it but you know Kanye he was going through his thing where he wanted to preach the gospel he wanted to run for president and all this kind of thing and I'm like did Kanye die in a sense when his mother died did something just click off in his his mental capacity of logically thinking I mean I've heard of artistic stuff but he done went way past that line where we don't go across and it kind of reminds me back when Beyonce was that old, you know, young looking, carefree girl. And she got hooked up with Jay-Z. And my Lord, that video Dangerous in Love where she went from good girl gone bad. Kind of like Riri that Jay-Z actually had brought out as well. Turned her from a good girl to a bad girl. Okay. Whew. I tell you. It's a hot mess. But that was some of the scene of the video where Beyonce was just feeling, I don't know, some kind of way bad. And she wanted to be someone else and not herself. So that was her chance to get transformed, meaning die in her present spirit. And kind of like reincarnate herself to Sasha Fierce. And we know how Sasha Fierce can kind of look demonic at times. But I was just trying to do a little compare and contrast, you know. Look, cute little Beyonce, you know, running around with Jay-Z and stuff. And I think that was after that video and she became more of a sidekick for him or whatnot. Uh, I'm really not sure, but that's when she kind of looked at like she had life. And then here, it looked like something else is, you know, taking over her whole spirit, her whole essence, I would have to say. You know, and that's the Sasha Fierce uh, video that's famous for, they were saying she had transposed into something else. Uh, the MK Ultra things, you know, Lil' Kim, not Lil' Kim, but uh, uh, Meg Thee Stallion went through it. You got um, well, Nick, Nicki Minaj, got Beyonce up there. It's just a whole transformation Hollywood put you through to start making you be Holly weird. And basically, that was basically what I was trying to tell you about Beyonce. Good girl gone bad. And a lot of people felt that she wasn't Beyonce anymore. She had totally assumed the position 
and personality of Sasha Fierce, her alter ego. Okay, because she used to say she couldn't do certain things in her uh, practices that when she gets on stage and something just comes into her and that transformation just totally taken over. And I'm like, wow, you know, such a beautiful girl and just messed up in this whole uh, highly weird type of situation and doing the rituals and all this other stuff if that may be because I'm speaking allegedly I don't know but I can see certain photos and certain actions and she said it's so herself uh something else just comes into her and she transforms into another whole person so her words not mine but anyway uh they are beloved couple and like I said it seems like she had life there uh, she was more photogenic and everything was just light around her. But now you see what we have. But I was just, you know, trying to do, like I said, compare and contrasting of how Kanye West may be. Because uh, you know, a lot of people had said in, um, on the streets and in the magazines and stuff of that, you know, nature blog, bloggers were saying that he uh, sacrificed his mom for stardom. Because, you know, right after he was kind of building himself up, but it wasn't, I guess, growing as fast as he wanted to. And when you're in a demonic realm or um, a satanic type realm, you have to do certain things to achieve certain statuses. So that's something they believe in, just like I believe in Jesus Christ. And, you know, he protects me from all evilness and all craziness that other people want to throw my way. Like no weapon shall prosper that's formed against me. You know, because I believe in Jesus Christ, but some people believe in satanic, and that's their God. That's who they serve, and that's where they get all their riches from. Uh, but it just is what it is. But it seems like Kanye West, I believe, he had to do something that was crazy that's messing him up in his real life towards you know something happening with his mom. I mean, was she? That's something for you to decide. Was she sacrificed? Uh, was she a willing participant or was it something that Kanye had just said, yeah, I need the fame and fortune and I'll meet her in the afterlife and I'll explain it to her or, you know, whatever scenario that had went down. But Kanye had just, you know, presented a new uh, opening act of something he was trying to portray as tribute to his mom. Now, how all of this was sitting a person on fire or setting himself on fire and he's trying to remarry or redo the marriage that him and Kim had had at one time and I don't know where it goes but let's get on into the story because I was just telling you my concept and the uh, things that I was putting in video to try to understand what I am going to read now as an article that was written by Chuck Arnold uh, from the New York Post. He titles it, Kanye West Sets Himself on Fire, Remarries Kim at Latest Donda's Listening Party. Okay? The Kanye, the Kanye West Circus continue on Thursday night with a new added attraction. Watch Ye set himself on fire. Okay, yeah, that's right. At the latest in a string of Donda's listening parties, this one at Soldier Field in his hometown of Chicago, West set himself on fire in a blazing, bizarre stunt that thankfully was just that, a stunt. The fireworks happened at the end while the rapper was in front of a replica of his childhood home that was used to symbol symbolize his upbringing with his beloved late mom, Donda West, who inspired the title for her son's 10th studio album, which once again was not released as teased following the event. But the fire fiasco wasn't the only train wreck in motion moment at the listening party, which follows previous ones at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, where West 44 has reportedly been holed up to finish Donda. Okay? There was also West's 40-year-old ex, Kim Kardashian, appearing on stage in a white uh, Balasinga uh, couture wedding dress. As the strange couple reenacted their 2014 nuptials doing No Ch Child Left Behind. Now, the concern is, Kim, are you crazy? First, you wanted to leave your husband because he was acting all erratic and you were kind of scared of him and this, that, and the third. And now you're reenacting something on uh, something he's trying to pay contribute or not contribute, but 
uh, tribute to his mom as uh, doing his latest studio album with her name as the title. I'm, I'm kind of confused, child. I'm kind of confused. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, and then there were the appearances by two controversial figures in Marilyn Manson and the baby, which brought out shock rocker Manson, who earlier this year was dropped by his label and counseled by the rest of the music industry after a number of women accused him of physically, mentally, and sexually abusing them. Now, they're talking about Manson, uh, Marilyn Manson, a rock star. Uh, that, that it seems like Kanye has uh, set up a relationship with, okay, or musical partner relationship. Well, hell, they just might be friends and he just brought him uh, to the scene. But going back to the article, it said uh, the rapper the baby, whose homophobic rant at July's Rolling Loud in Miami has led him to be dropped from other festivals, also showed up appearing to replace Jay-Z's verse on a Donda track that was pre previously heard at the first Mercedes-Benz Stadium listening party. Okay, many fans seem shocked by the be uh liggered leaguered artist cameos with one viewer snarking that donda would be so proud and another tweeting i hear cosby's free these days a reference to sitcom star bill cosby whose sexual assault conviction was overturned in pennsylvania in june another artist lauren hill made a buzz about appearance but only in a sample of her hit do wop that thing uh, from her 1998 classic, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, on one of the Donda's tracks. Fans' frustration was also evident as they clamored to social media for a reason why the album still hadn't dropped. An impatient critic requested, please, for the love of God, drop this album. While another patient ran dry with all caps response, okay, now where is it? Meanwhile, one viewer, perhaps worn out by the trio of exceeding grandiosis viewing parties, concluded, I have a feeling this album is going to be overhyped. Okay? But at this point, it's hard to know if Wes's album will ever come out, or is these stadium-sized listening parties are just a way for him to rake in some big bucks from fans in the meantime. Cha. I tell you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But to me, setting yourself on fire is pretty crazy. Sacrificing is pretty crazy. Uh, when you're taking somebody else's life for you to come up and rise to fame and fortune. And um, being liked by everyone. Or that perception or illusion of being liked by everyone. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know, Kanye. It seems like you're still in that get out type scenario. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Because the whole thing of setting yourself on fire. When we all going to be uh, subjected to that. For those who were done bad or did bad things in life. If you believe in the lake of fire and you're being punished for your sins eternally. Uh, depending on what you did on this earth. Okay, so y'all put down in them comments what y'all thought about Kanye setting himself on fire and all these other grandiose type uh, stunts he's pulling. Because he could have just really got caught up in the mix of being set on fire and he actually could have been uh, played with th third degree burns or even death. Why did he keep, I don't know, he really must think he's God in some sense. I don't understand them. I don't. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this latest fiasco of a listening party. Where he won't drop the album that his so-called fans are overly anticipating of him doing. But for some reason, Kanye or the music industry, the machine, the giant, uh, whoever he's signed by won't do it. Alright, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all be blessed and I'll talk to you and see you next video. Bye.